we're going to go to Andrew pronouns or he, him. Um, I don't really have a ton to, to say. I mean, it depends, I guess, on what Andrew wants to talk about here, but it says, uh, why do atheists lean towards antinatalist lean antinatalism? Uh, they're damaging the population. So maybe you want to, uh, explain what you mean there, Andrew. Oh, I think we got him in. There I, we go. I think, I think we get to beat up on Andrew some more, just like we did when he called in about higher divorce rates. Uh, yeah. So, uh, where do you get this claim of yours that, uh, atheists tend to lean antinatalists? Cause yeah, most of the atheists confused. I know don't. <laughs> But uh, I will admit that I don't have a statistically valid sampling of, of atheists. So that's just my anecdote. Neither of you guys, neither of you guys have children. So what? I mean, you, you don't, I mean, I don't think that you know that. <laughs> so what? Doesn't mean I'm not, doesn't mean I'm antinatalist. Yeah. I said lean towards antinatalist or just not having kids for myself. Um, you guys are hurting yourselves because Christians are going to just out, grow you with children so our beliefs are gonna I don't well, that was true. Care. why is it why is atheism the, the fastest growing segment I don't, of I the don't, population yeah and i don't care that i'm not having a yeah, kid that's my that's my choice to not have a kid i don't really know yeah. what the... and i know a number I, of I atheists with children so having more children we do it uh, i think our show i think our show reaches a lot of people that aren't my children and i think i think i'll be fine with that yeah, right? I, think, yeah. I think i'll be okay so and i i know thanks, more atheists with worrying children about than yeah. my sperm and and whatnot <laughs> and i know more atheists with children than i do atheists without children um and when i say with children i include those who may not have them but do want to have them in the future so um again what are you basing your claims on what, what evidence do you have to support yeah. your claim yes Studies have found that a correlation between atheism and lower fertility rates in certain countries or regions um, and is correlation causation. Because is correlation causation a strong correlation? It's a strong. Do, I got an answer to the question. Is correlation causation? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends on each case. The answer is no. Is yes, no. correlation is not causation. If yeah. correlation was causation, a... then an increase in co the consumption of ice cream leads to an increase in crime. Those two things are strongly correlated. By the way, an increase in, in uh, the consumption of ice cream and an increase in crime are strongly correlated. I was always wondering why I wanted to rob banks after, you know, eating the Exactly, of, after yeah. eating ice cream. Well, now you know. They're strongly correlated, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so the strong correlation doesn't mean causation. And so what? The fact of the matter is, is that atheism is growing faster in this country than Christianity is, right? This is why Christianity is now seven, high 70s, low 80s, um, as opposed to 20 years ago when it was higher. So again, your claim that we're harming ourselves doesn't seem to be standing up. Again, another claim that, that's not standing up. And I'm not even Googling for any of this because... Honestly, I don't need to. Do you have uh, a yeah, study? Correlation does not equal causation. When we give the data, you just say the same thing. Correlation does not equal causation. Because you haven't given us causal. You haven't given us anything that causes anything. All you say is correlation and correlation is not causation. So if you want to say that atheism co is is causing antinatalism or co causing lower, lower divorce or lower divorce rates or whatever you need to show that causal just because they're correlated doesn't mean anything and again so what ultimately that's the ultimate question right let's say it's true atheism causes people to have fewer children so what You're, that, that, is that was literally going to be my question, question. i don't get it it, it all right it is no go ahead society because Social Security will not be able to afford a 40, 50, 60 percent of the population being elderly. When people have less children, it's going to cause a collapse in the economy. Because we're that, not that's all, no, it's not going to cause a collapse of economy. It will cause a collapse of. Uh, yes, it will cause a problem with Social Security as the population drops. The problem with that is, is the baby boomer generation didn't produce enough kids to support the baby boomer generation on Social Security because Social Security is basically a Ponzi scheme. And it only works at increasing population, and we don't have that. And that has nothing to do with atheism; it has everything to do with the baby boomer generation and the way that the the reason why the baby generation, baby boomer generation exists. That that's simply all there is to it. Uh, it has nothing to do with atheism. So again, so what? 
Yeah, that's that's where my question is, Jim. I'm just sitting here going, yeah. So what? It doesn't prove God, right? It doesn't explain to us why you believe in God. Um, it just sounds it like an appeal to consequence. Atheist, yeah, and it, it it doesn't have and and it, well, again, I don't even think it's an appeal to consequence. Uh, uh, well, a fabled consequence. I should have like clarified. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, fabled, yeah. fabled consequence. Yeah. Well, it's an so, it's it's a fallacious argument from okay. consequence. I will say that. I mean, because like the fact that you think that there is some outcome here, something relevant is like, I mean, if the goal here is to change the position or whatever view I take, um, we're in some really weird territory to start out there. I mean, because I like, I don't know, like, are you Christian? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so like, if you have this view, it's, I mean, wouldn't you want to start off talking about Jesus or something? Like, I don't know, just weird. Like, why? How does antinatalism trump Jesus on the talk against atheism? Right? Wouldn't Jesus come first? I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I'm saying the cause, the, the harms of your ideology. Um, it, 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 I want to prevent the harm that it causes to, to the global. But you haven't world. demonstrated any harm. You have demonstrated no harm. No harm. You, 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 the, you, no harm. Ca- you have not shown a direct cause between atheism. You have not shown any cause between atheism and any harm. All you've done is show correlations between things you don't like. You've tried to show a correlation of the divorce rates, and I beat you up on that by pointing out that atheists have lower divorce rates in the United States uh, well, than Christians do. And then now I'm, now we got to beat you up because you're just out there saying antinatalism, and it's like, yeah, so what? The population is going to decline no matter what because the baby boomer generation didn't produce enough kids to have to to support them afterwards they, they didn't increase the population and that's due to just the way the populations work and why we had a boom to begin with in that population it has nothing to do with atheism you haven't explained any of this yeah, as, as if atheists can't give birth to like people that become christians and christians can't give birth to right. people that become like it's just well, weird do you think like because i don't know maybe i'm not understanding your view like you just think like if like atheists all don't have kids, like that ceases the production of atheists. Like you couldn't have some pastor's kid who's just eventually like, I don't believe in this shit anymore. Like, cause I think that's like majority of the case. Right. I don't really, I'm not even like understanding what it is that like your view even is. I'm confused. I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah. maybe, I'm, lo- maybe I'm a little lost if in you your sauce here. Let me explain my argument. If you guys are not going to let me elaborate on my argument, um, no, it, this isn't really my. Well, argument. I think I think I think Jim tore it apart. I mean, personally, but but I mean, I don't know. I'm just a bystander here. Right, I tell you, what, let's put the one minute timer up. Let's get that timer up. Yeah, we'll give you the last minute of the day. We'll, we'll give you is the timer. You know, what? I we just do it here. Uh, there we go. We got it. We got, got it. it. All right, yeah. there you go. Go go go. Yes. Atheism uh, gives various reasons for having less children, such as there's no mandate from God. Um, sec- secular values says, okay, birth control is the highest epitome of good. Um, and, and atheists tend to have less children. That's what most of the studies show. And having less children inc- decreases the workforce significantly. You will have millions and millions of more older people who cannot work and many, many, many less children. Therefore, there will be a lot less money to go around because of the significant decrease of the workforce. And atheism leads to lower birth rates. That's what the data shows. Lower birth rates has consequences. And it's atheists oh who believe in lower birth rates because of the lack of um, mandate from God, their religious beliefs. And they say life is about me and enjoying it right now. I don't have to live for the next generation. Um, birth rate, birth causes harm to society. Um, because of environmental. All right, that's your minute. Change, that's your minute. Which... That's your minute. So again, the reason why there are, are are you claiming that the baby boomer generation are all atheists? No. However, so the baby boomer generation not producing enough children around. to reproduce them is why the population is declining. It can't be atheist because up until the last ten years, this country was eighty to ninety percent. Well, higher than that, high 80s, low 90% Christian. So the baby boomers during their entire generation, while they're all their productive years, didn't produce enough kids. And that has nothing to do with atheism, period. End of conversation. Because you've already admitted that the athe- that the baby boomers aren't all atheists. Two, statistically, they were 95, 90, 95% Christian. So that doesn't hold. And yet the population is still declining. They're not Christian. I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, my apologies. Genuine. 
I'm sorry. Well, well, who aren't Christians? Who aren't Christians? Who aren't Christians? The baby boomer generation the, the, aren't Christians? The, they were no, fake Christians. Let me explain. Please. May I explain? May I explain? Uh, they're not devout Christians. They just claim to be Christians. They live like... <laughs> oh, 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 ding, oh, ding, yeah. ding. So no got it. Christian. No, no true Scotsman. Ding, 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 ding. You're done. Um, you even yeah, got a bingo cool. card going. You might have hit bingo by now. So. Yeah. Any, anybody in chat hit bingo on that one? Yeah. I, I think I think there's, there's probably some people who may have hit bingo on that one. Um, yeah, so you just hit a, a, the no true Scotsman fallacy. That is a load of bullshit. You're also gatekeeping, which is even worse. Um, so, and that really doesn't address the statistics at all. That's just you trying to wave your It's hands always fascinating to me how they always have, like that person that you yeah. talk to that invokes it, like they're always, they're always the, the they're always the, one, the quintessential, right? yeah, form of, you know. Yeah. Christianity. So, Christianity. Andrew, uh, I would like to thank you for calling. Um, I would suggest staying away from statistics. Uh, you aren't very good at them. And I would definitely stay away from correlational studies um, for anything because, again, you're not good at them. We've kicked you around twice now. Um, but feel free to call in. Yeah, no, I, Jim, I appreciate you taking You have a lot more to say on that than me. I, I was really confused by all that. I, I don't know. Like, I'm, uh, I don't get into the antinatalism stuff at all. But yeah, um, it, I just happened to be a point in my life where I've never wanted a kid. That's just coincidence. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm the problem. I don't know. We got to figure it out, Jim. Our, our atheism is in shambles because of this. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so. And he seems to confuse antinatalism with not wanting kids, and those two are not the same. Yeah, exactly. Right? I, I, yeah, I don't. Think I was going to chime in with something, but you had way more. You had way better points. Uh, it wasn't really yeah. worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm not, not going to chime in on this.